my idea was get connected and what I wanted to show in my art was people interacting and connecting with Zion National Park specifically as I was doing a little bit of research about Zion and this Zion residency program uh, I was looking at their Zion mission statement and in the mission statement of Zion they were saying that they they promote you know education and the experience of the people that come to the park and experience the park so I wanted to capture a little bit of that so aside from maybe some of the traditional art you see at Zion which is just beautiful landscape which is in abundance uh, I also wanted to capture the people connecting with Zion and then I also wanted to play on words which is get connected and maybe disconnect from technology my week, my week stay in the grotto cabin I wanted to talk with people about why they were coming to Zion and I wanted to formulate images from their responses. So what I ended up doing was I would I would sit back in the background and I would watch people as they were interacting with the park without them unaware of that, that I was watching them and that's when I was taking my reference materials and it felt more in the moment, uh, more true experience than I feel if I had interacted with, with them initially. So kind of initially I, I was just sketching them all out and taking my reference photos and translating them to, them to paper. The process I chose to, to do my art and the process that I enjoy doing is printmaking, which is I carve an image into a material, roll the image of the material up with ink and then transfer that onto a piece of paper. I work with a material called Sintra and then uh, it's just a plastic material, kind of like a PVC pipe rolled out into a sheet. And so I'll, I'll carve into that and get my image from, from the carving on the Sintra. I would draw the image onto a piece of mat board, something that I could cut out with a razor blade fairly easy. And on the mat board I drew fairly simple shapes. But all of these simple shapes that I had on there were shapes were very different colors. And then once the simple shapes were drawn on the mat board, I could take a razor blade and cut each of those shapes out, separate them, ink them up into different colors, and then put them all back together into one image, original image, and roll that one time through the press and then all of my various colors are there on the paper at once. This hat really has been a really eye-opening experience. Number one, it was just fantastic to be down in the park. Uh, the experience of being down in the park for a week, I'm a little jealous that the actual artists and residents get to be down there for a month, but I had the privilege of being down there for a week and it was gorgeous. It was just beautiful, a beautiful opportunity to see how a real artist would work outside of the school experience. So uh, all around, it's just been a fantastic opportunity for me and I was really glad to, to have, have this as a young emerging artist.